The armed forces of Ukraine and Russia reported the front-line progress in the last 24 hours. The armed clashes had occurred in some area May 26. In Donetsk direction, units, operational tactical and army aviation, and units of the Yug group of forces have eliminated up to 190 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, three pickup trucks, and one D-30 howitzer during the day. Moreover, one ammunition depot of the 54th Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine have been annihilated close to Verknikomenskoye, Donetsk People's Republic, said Igor Konoshenkov, the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesperson. Russia shows footage of airborne artillerymen thwart enemy attack in Archomosk direction. UAV crews detected a group of infantry supported by armored vehicles approaching Russian positions. Accurate shots of the D-30 howitzer inflicted fire on the enemy. After suffering losses, the nationalists retreated to their initial positions. The Russian Defense Ministry spokesperson Igor Konoshenkov May 26 said in total the armed forces of Ukraine lost 429 airplanes and 235 helicopters, 4,341 unmanned aerial vehicles, 424 anti-aircraft missile systems, 9,302 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles. Also 1,100 combat vehicles equipped with multiple launch rocket systems, 4,908 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 10,464 units of special military hardware have been destroyed during the special military operation. The other side from Kyiv, the armed forces of Ukraine in an official statement May 26 said Russia lost 460 servicemen in a single day including one tank, three armored personnel vehicles, 25 artillery systems, as well as one fighter jet and three drones. In total, Moscow lost 205,720 servicemen since Russia have been launching full-scale aggression into Ukraine territories. The president of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky condemned the latest Russia cruise missile attack in Dnipro. Russian terrorists once again confirm their status of fighters against everything humane and honest, Zelensky said. A rocket attack on a clinic in the city of Dnipro. As of now, one person was killed and 15 were wounded. The shelling aftermath is being eliminated and the victims are being rescued. All necessary services are involved. My condolences to the family of the deceased, Zelensky added. The other side, the Russian Corps firm that the attack hit Ukrainian ammunition depot. Last night, the armed forces of the Russian Federation launched a group strike by long-range high-precision air-based weapons against ammunition depots of the Ukrainian armed forces. The goal of the strike has been achieved. All the assigned targets have been engaged, said the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesperson Igor Konoshenkov. Russia and Ukraine conflict has been lasting for 457 days. There is still no peace settlement agreement between two sides. Sudah nonton? Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya!